Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Jimmy from Primer is Best. And I live here in East Tennessee. And I tell you what, it is July. And it feels like I'm in a can of soup, like tomato soup. It's just, that's a poor comparison. But the weather is just so sticky. As soon as you come outside of the house, you start sweating, or at least I do. But uh, today, I, I was thinking, if you watch the other videos, I forget which one. Anyway, well, all I remember, it's a 1985 Chevy C10 truck, Tyler. That's the name of it, Tyler, T-I-L-E-R, because the man used to lay tile that owned the truck. All my trucks, if you're new to the channel, has a name. This is Billy James, a real person, and Left Turn Bill. That's what they called him, him and his wife, Left Turn Bill, but they have both passed away. But my point is, they were real people. But I was doing a video uh, on a... The 85C10 truck, Tyler. I'll get it here in just a second. Uh, and I made a list of things I wanted GM Tim. His name is Brian on YouTube. Please check out his channel, GM Tim 38. You'll see a lot of my junk over there. One of them's over there now. Uh, the Cat Eye truck, as of this video anyway. Uh, he's working on it. And he's got some really good tips. Anyway... He's an excellent mechanic, but check out his YouTube channel, GM Tim 38. Okay, I I was making a list of things to do on my 85 Chevy C10 truck Tyler. That's the one that's going over there next, the silver one that we just recently purchased a few months ago, maybe three months or so, something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, as you know, if you've watched the channel, my mother-in-law has had a massive stroke. So I haven't been playing with trucks very much. And I was sitting there at the, she's in an assisted living facility at the moment. And uh, I was sitting there thinking because we go over there every day, every day practically every day. And uh, we uh, sit with her. So I was thinking maybe I need to make a list of these two. So I, I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to start this one first. Normally I start this one just to get it out of the way. But And guys, I just emptied out my rain gauge. And we just had another inch of rain. My yard is soggy. Oh my goodness. Just mud. So, But I'm kind of a little bit on a slant. So it's starting to kind of drop. And I thought, well, I'll pull this out. I'm going to walk around the truck and make a list. I'm hoping Brian, remember his YouTube name, GM 1038. If you forgot, write it down. That's the reason I paused. <laughs> I'm going to see uh, him and his dad put the motor and transmission in on this truck. Is a is is junk truck. Anyway, let's pull it out. I'm going to walk around the truck and make a list of things I'd like for him to do. Okay, I've already started it, and I thought, well, I'll just I had my phone with me, and I thought, well, I'll just do a video and see what we can get into. Because, to be honest, I don't know when I'll get back here and be able to start it again. Now, all I've done before I started the video was to connect the battery and I put the key in the ignition. I told my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., I said, do you realize in just a few months... I'm going to be 67 years old. Where did the time go? Where did it go? It goes by so quickly. Give it some time. Man, this is a good motor and transmission. It's been a while since I started it, guys, because we're always at the assisted living facility. It needs to be washed. And like I said, I've started a list already, but I can't really tell what's what unless I'm actually looking at the truck. I'm going to start a list on this one here too, the 84 C10 truck left turn build. I don't know if Brian can get to all of them, all of these trucks, or when he'll be able to. He works all the time, and I'm so proud and blessed to have him as my friend. It's nothing pressing, but, you know, at the same time, you know, I kind of like, 
I kind of like to get things done and you know but I'm not in a hurry don't let me start all over I'm not in a hurry and this stuff's been like this for a while it just seems like life happens you know what I mean maybe, maybe you understand I don't know if you're a young person watching this and you're not married yet or not attached to anybody you know girlfriend boyfriend whatever you're kind of furry but when you get married and you have obligations taking care of a house you know yard work uh, keeping your vehicles up changing oil you know all, all you know paying insurance life and then when you have children for years and years my wife and I did not miss a ball game of any kind baseball football basketball we have two boys and uh, we didn't miss a game so playing with cars and trucks for me which is what I call it playing I'm gonna let this run just to show you hey I don't know what this is that switch I'm not gonna mess with there's one of the, yeah let's get that list I'm just trying to do all this before it starts raining. I've, I've got the work. I'm really absent-minded lately. See, I didn't forgot where all oh, my pen fell. <laughs> didn't forgot where I put my pen. Uh, here's what I've got so far. Uh, whenever Brian says he has a little while to work on it, it's nothing. It's nothing major, really. Just little things. He's a lot smarter than I am. Let me start off by saying I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a body man. I'm, I'm not good at anything, really. So let's start out by saying I wrote, I wrote this down, and you probably can't read my writing. I Believe it or not, I got a year and a half of college, <laughs> and uh, I still can't write with a who. Now, some people say it's because you're smart. But I'm, <laughs> I'm here to tell you I'm not smart. I wrote down 78 C10 truck, Billy James. Change the seat belts. I'm going to read this to you, and then you look at it as we walk around the truck, okay? I'm going to change out the hood. Brian uh, called me one evening and said there's a guy that's got some C10 parts for sale where, close to where he lives, and said he's got a better hood. So I'm going to... I told him I'd buy it. So I'm going to buy the hood. I'm going to swap this hood out. Reason being, it's got all these splits in it. And when you close the hood, it's kind of bowed. It's not bad, but if I can get a better hood, I'll do it. Plus this one, I don't know who done this, but it's got a hole in it. Like they put an antenna or something. I'm not sure. I don't know why you would do that, but somebody did before me. This truck has been pieced together. It's, it, believe it or not, I have people laugh at this, but it took seven trucks to make this. I had a 60, uh, 62 Chevy Impala Super Sport. It took five Impalas to make that one. But as a factory black, factory 327 factory four speed car, and I wanted it. It had the bucket seats, not grab bar. I mean, it, it was a nice old car, and I sold it. I, I, I done pretty good on it. Anyway, forget it. Let's let's move on. I'm getting sidetracked, like I always do. Change out the hood. Adjust the carburetor. I think it needs a little bit of adjusting. Pressure wash the engine. Uh, this is the second engine. Like I said, it's not real bad, but I don't have a pressure washer, and Brian has one. Maybe we can. And I don't mind to help him, but I think sometimes he does better by himself because I I guess you've noticed I talk a lot and I probably get in people's way and radio of some kind I did not do this a lot of people do but I mean it's great I mean is it a it's already cut out, so I might as well take advantage of it. And I've told Brian, you know, if you can just buy an old cheap radio to put in it, kind of cover up the hole, that'd be great. It's an AC truck, but the, of course, I guess you've seen under the hood, 
I don't have hardly anything for the AC and I'm not worried about that. Uh, the seat belts. This truck was originally blue. I'm gonna paint all this red whenever I get it. Whenever I get time. Uh, but the middle seat belts, I cannot break that little star looking eight point thing out. We tried it at Gas Axe Chop Shop at Tim with Tim Dixon. He's on Facebook, Gas Axe Chop Shop. Check him out. That's, you can see lots of pictures and maybe a video or two on his Facebook page, Gas Axe Chop Shop, A-X-E. Uh, we couldn't get the seatbelt bolt to come loose. Brian said he's going to try it. He said, I can get it out. So I've got my seatbelts here. Uh, but I'm just looking around the truck. I mean, these are the original gauges, and the only thing that works, as far as I know, is this battery, and uh, uh, the clock works, but it's always, uh, I think it works. Yeah, it's working. I don't, I get mixed up between it and Tyler. It's working. I, let's see if the fan motor. Nope, I don't have no fan motor. It might not even be, oh, well, probably if I turned it on. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got to turn it on, don't you? I had to put it on then. I wasn't thinking. Uh, what else was I going to... Looking around the truck. I mean, the truck's come a, a million miles from where it was at. I can't think of nothing. Oh, yeah, lowering. This is never going to be a show truck. None of my stuff... Is show trucks never will be or at least as long as I have them if somebody else one of these days wants it they can take it to the next level but I'm not that person uh, I think if it's lower just a little bit more what do you think I think if it's lowered a little bit more I mean it, it's already had a lowering kit but I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of opting for maybe just a little bit lower. I like a little bit of a rake, just a little. It's got a little bit of a rake, but I'm thinking if it's a little bit lower, it would be good. This old truck is a good truck. My yard needs mowed again. My yard is wet. Oh my goodness, my shoes are all wet. Uh, I'm just looking around the truck. I wish I had those little mirrors on here, but see, when you have these top, it leaves a hole. I don't really want to fill in a hole. I priced this truck in one of the earlier videos, like, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, last summer. I can't remember when. I priced it for 80, I think it's 8,500 at the time and that was that's when it had the motor in it the first motor and transmission when I bought the truck the truck was junk okay the bed the doors the hood everything is off different trucks to make this one you know like I said it took seven anyway the first motor and transmission we put in it ran but it didn't run good it had a little tick in the engine transmission was really lazy it's got a 350 400 that's what's in it again 350 with a 400 turbo but uh as you can see it don't smoke it's quiet uh, I priced it for 8500 with the old motor and transmission in you know but uh all, all somebody had to do if they was a mechanic to uh you know get it up and going just like it is now you know $8,500 to get it some people were saying well you know you're too high or something well the thing is I've got too much in this truck. I've got, oh my goodness, Brian, he, he's always laughing at me uh, about this truck. And my wife told me the other day, she said, you know, you've got a ton of money in this old truck. And I do, but I was just trying to get some of it back. But now, I mean, of course it's not 8,500 now. Everything, I, like I said, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a body man. Uh, you know what? I trying to think I, 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 anyway I'm just looking at the truck so also I think while I 
while I have the opportunity when I get another hood put on this thing. I'll show you this hood. In case you've never seen this channel before, private is best. See those places where they stiffened it? I didn't do that. Someone else did. Because if you don't keep these hinges oiled, you're going to have a crack. Let me check my temperature real quick because I've never had a problem, but I don't want a problem either. Well, doing good. Batteries charging everything. So I set that there. Just if I see something else, I'll write it down. But I still got to do painting on the inside and stuff. But the old truck's come a long way. It's got brand new tires, brand new wheels, brand new brakes, brake lines, exhaust from front to back. I mean, every, when you're looking at the truck, you're probably saying, hoo wee. But it's really come a long way. Brand new bumpers. You know everything that goes along with a brand i mean with another motor hoses belts everything wipers wiper blades i mean it sounds like penny any stuff but when you start pouring money into it it starts getting expensive real quick um, Anyway, I was just walking around it. I still got it. Oh, yeah, I got to get trimmed, but that's not Brian's problem. I'll get this. I got some, somehow, sometime, I got to get some used trim for that for a short bed. Or take that all that off and just put that trim on like uh, Tim Dixon has on that oh, 75C10 truck. Watch Brian's video. Tim Dixon's that blue one. It's got like 84, 85 model, uh, you know, the stick on trim. I, I don't know, but I was really impressed with it. You know, that kind of spot this wide goes down through there. I probably won't ever do it to this truck. I'm, I get involved in other things right now. I'm kind of whole hog into the 85 truck Tyler. So I don't know, I, I get sidetracked. Anyway, front end alignment, uh, you know, little things that you don't think of just looking at it people don't realize especially like I said if you're like me and you don't uh, have much mechanical experience I mean I can change oil and stuff but as far as doing you know breaking down an engine tearing it apart putting it together transmissions and stuff Brian can do all that I don't know how never done it and like I said in one of my videos it's easy to tear something apart even a big dummy like me can tear stuff apart but putting it back together now that's a different story anyway uh i'm just looking i don't see anything else i mean other than that but, but you know when i when i when brian says hey i'm ready for this truck then i get i get a uh i can't remember nothing i mean you know i forget stuff oh yeah don't forget to do this do that not I, I don't want to do brian that way so anyway I just thought I'd show you this truck and maybe you could, if you see something else, let me say this. <laughs> if you see something else constructed, constructed, that you think I have missed, let me know. I mean, somebody's going to say, well, just junk it. Or <laughs> but I can't do that. It's too good a truck. It, it, it's a good truck. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. You're watching Primitive's Best on YouTube. I appreciate it. You, I appreciate you watching the video. Sorry, get tongue-tied. And uh, watching uh, Billy James here. Like I said, he's a real person that used to own the truck. Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop actually named the truck. He called it the uh, named it the Outlaw Billy James because the law was always after Billy James in this truck. And that's the reason it took seven trucks to <laughs> to build this. So, but anyway, let me know what you think about it. it's a good old truck. Uh, you know, I like it. I just, if I had a few more things done to it, I have to do things on a budget, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And my wife does too. Thank you for all the prayers for my mother-in-law and my wife and myself for us to stay strong because this is really challenging with my mother-in-law being in a nursing home 
there's a lot going on that I don't say. So believe me, we need prayers. We need prayers. Also, speaking of that, we need your videos. If you have an old car or an old truck that you'd like me to put on my YouTube channel for free to keep this channel alive, try to keep it going because I can't do videos much anymore on my own. Uh, send me a video to primeritisbest at comcast.net. Facebook Messenger Primer is best. Instagram Messenger Primer is best. Send me a video of what you have, what you're working on, what you just bought, traded for, what you just sold last week, and here's a video of it leaving or whatever. And it doesn't have to be pretty. It can be ugly. It can be mediocre. It doesn't matter. I enjoy seeing other things because when I'm at the nursing home, assisted living facility, I'm a lot of times I'm looking on my phone and I'm looking at other C10s or, or Mercury's, Pontiacs, it doesn't matter. I like looking at all of them. I just looked at a video of a 1960 Mercury wagon. I mean, I think those are cool stuff that I grew up with. Please don't be afraid to send me a video. Turn your phone sideways, not up and down. Like, like one of my YouTube subscribers, Chevy Land TV. He said, turn your phone like a hamburger not like a hot dog and that's a good representation isn't it turn it like a hamburger please no music or foul language i can't put it on my youtube channel you can show your family and friends your girlfriend your boyfriend relatives i mean all over the world you know you can look at the videos of your they can see a video of your car or truck that you've been working on or what whatever your case may be maybe you don't have an engine maybe you're going to put an engine in it whatever it's called PIB's, that stands for Primer is Best, PIB's Subscriber Rides. And I've had a lot of help on my channel to keep this channel going. I, I appreciate each and every video. Lord knows I appreciate it. And uh, I thank y'all for watching this. It's just a little short video. I'm gonna do this one next, as long as it's not raining. And, uh, Everything is such a mess around here. But anyway, I'm trying to get caught up. I was going to trim shrubs but in the front yard, but the yard is so wet, I don't want to get electrocuted. I have a power cord, you know, and I, it's not worth getting electrocuted, is it? So anyway, I mean, no need in taking a chance. Thanks for watching, guys. I sure do appreciate it, and I hope the Lord is watching over you just like he's been watching over us. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Please like and subscribe. You won't, you won't miss any of them. God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one, guys. And for Mrs. P.I.B. and myself, thanks again for all the prayers. Appreciate it.